As Nigeria prepares to mark another Democracy Day, citizens have been advised to be patriotic and shun anti-democratic practices if the country must move forward. Stakeholders in Biasa State who spoke to our correspondent Jesse C say the country is faced with a lot of challenges because it's yet to practice true democracy. Details in this report. Democracy Day in Nigeria used to hold on May 29 until June 6, 2018, when the administration of President Muhammad Buhari declared June 12 as a new Democracy Day in honor of the late MKO Abiola, winner of the annulled 1993 presidential election. It signifies the day the military handed over power to the civilian government in 1999, marking the beginning of the longest civilian rule since 1960. However, some citizens believe the country is moving at a very slow pace in virtually all sectors because it is yet to practice through democracy, and they say both the government and the governed are to blame. A greater percentage of the blame will be dropped at the doorstep of the leaders. But it's very unfortunate that poverty, poverty has brought most of the followers to their knees also. Look at what happened in the primaries of the two major political parties. We are up to 10, 25 to $30,000 is being paid for, for, for delegates to elect uh, party flag bearers. It's so sad. So at the end of the day, what do they expect those leaders to do? They will first of all think of means to recoup back the billions that they've invested in the project. The process is so faulty. I think it's almost going to family business now. Now you started seeing some people, they are go governor's wife, uh, governor's uh, daughters, and governor's son, governor's auntie-in-laws. So it's almost going that way. So that is not what democracy means. Citizens are advised to shun sharp practices in the election process so that only leaders with developmental mindset can rule. When you buy votes and when you sell votes, the consequences of that should be known to those who are buying the vote and those who are selling the vote. The effect is will fall back to the people and to the Nigerian state. That is why we are suffering from our economy. We cannot do anything because everybody wants to get there and to get back the money you have paid. So the voting system already is known. In fact, we can predict Nigerian election before you the winner a match. It's like Nigerian thing. I want to call on all Nigerians, most especially the leaders, to, sh to, to change from their former attitude of looting the treasury drive to a more progressive approach where we can begin to build on capacity, build on investment, build on infrastructure, so that the future generation and those still living will always hold us high and appreciate Africa as a growing country, Nigeria in particular. They insist that until Nigerians stop voting along religious and ethnic lines, corruption and underdevelopment will continue to be the order of the day, just CSA. Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.